Welcome to this video series on SQL Server 2005. Today our topic is Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio Express. This is the graphic user interface utility that you can use to manage an instance of SQL Server 2005 Express. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, in order to start this you would go to Start Programs SQL Server 2005 and then Management Studio Express. I already have this started. Um, you will notice there is no connection to any server so the first thing I need to do is go to the registered servers window. In order to do, do that you need to go to View Registered Servers and so here's a list of couple of servers that we have registered. I'm going to go ahead and register a new one you can right click on it, say new server registration. Now for the server name I'm going to go ahead and paste my instance of SQL Server Express. Uh, Kashi2 is the name of the machine and SQL, SQL Express is the named instance of the database. Um, for authentication I'm going to go ahead and use Windows authentication and uh, let's go ahead and click on save. When you see that little uh, green circle with a white arrow in there that means this service is running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and select connect an object explorer. What the object explorer is going to do is uh, connect you to the instance and you will be able to browse to object objects like database and other items. Now it's trying to make a connection to that uh, server using my Windows authentication. I'm going to go ahead and move this up a little bit. Now the nice thing about these windows, they've got the auto height functionality so if you were trying to maximize your working area you could uh, do that and they will go to the side. So. I'm going to go ahead and pin it down so we can actually work with this. Now you will notice um, we have a bunch of uh, folders under the um, Object Explorer. Let's mainly focus on the database folder today and uh, you'll notice that it's broken, broken down into system databases which are the uh, master model, MSDB and TempDB, these are the databases that SQL Server uses to do its internal uh, work. I'm going to go ahead and create a new database. Um, so in order to do that you can do database, new database. This is not the fastest machine as you can tell. So now we have a new window here. I'm going to go ahead and type in sales. Notice it's going to go ahead and create two files. Uh, every SQL Server database has two files. One's a data file and then there's a log file. It picked up a logical name for sales. If you go right, this is the actual physical path where it will be creating that file. Okay, and you could you could pick a different location, but I'm going to go ahead and leave the defaults and going to go ahead and click OK. So this will create a new database called sales and uh, we have that right under test. I'm going to go ahead and expand that. Now under the database folder we have a uh, bunch of subfolders primarily. I'm just going to go ahead and focus on the tables. Uh, we don't really have a table in there right now. Let's just uh, create a quick table. 
just to kind of get things rolling here. Let's say we go ahead and create a customer table. So I'm going to um, use the, this is the first field that I'm selecting. This is going to be the customer ID field. I'm going to go ahead and use an integer, which is INT. And then uh, let's just use one more field, which is the customer name. And I will go ahead and use varchar, which is variable character. And as for as allowing null, I'm going to uncheck the first one so that at least we have a customer ID and also a customer name. So for now, that's good. It's saying, do you want to save the items? I will say yes. I'm going to go ahead and call it a customer table. So notice um, we have a table here. Now what you can do is you can go ahead and open table. There's no information in there. I'm going to go ahead and enter a couple of uh, records in here. Notice we have a couple of small customers. And that's it. I mean, that's really what I did was so far is create a database called sales. And under that, I created a table called customer. Now, another, before we move on to other features, uh, I wanted to show you a quick, nice feature that SQL Server has uh, that can reduce your time especially if you haven't uh, used any of these features before. So if you go to the view tab and go to or the view menu and go to template explorer what this does is it's going to give you a out of the box temp set of templates. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll kind of put it over here for now. These are the templates that can uh, help you use commands that you're not familiar with. So what I did was I expanded the database tab and then notice one of the options here is create database command. Right click on that and just select open. And it's asking you which server do you want to connect. I will connect to our SQL Express. Now notice here it just went ahead and created T-SQL which is transact SQL code um, for the database and it tells you where um, you can go ahead and put in your name so this is where I would be putting in my database so I could say sales2 example and then uh, same thing here really what it's doing is it's saying if this database exists go ahead and drop it and then create a new database called sales2. Okay. Now um, this little uh, blue check check mark here, what it does is it parses your SQL statement and makes sure makes sure that the syntax is correct. So I'll click on that. Looks like it likes it, and then I will go ahead and execute it. So here, you, we just created a database without really knowing any of the code. Before I leave this, I'm going to go ahead and save this query. And we'll call it a great database query. OK. Uh, I will go ahead and close this out. Notice there's a lots of different templates that we can use out right out of the box. Um, now notice that we don't really see another database. Well, what you have to do is right click on database and do a refresh. Or you can click on this little icon too. And there you go. There's our database. So in this uh, session, really what we 
uh, covered is how to register a server first and then uh, after you register we connect it to the object explorer and once we were in the object explorer we created a database first using the graphic user interface we created sales database and then uh, we used a uh, we, well we, we created a table called customer but once again you could have used the template to do this um, and then the second database we created was sales to database and if you go back to your registered servers you'll notice that now your uh, server is registered besides the other two i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching